Hey everyone, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com and in this quick tutorial I'm going to show you how to install WordPress with Green Geeks Hosting. So if we get to GreenGeeks.com there's going to be a link in the description. It is an affiliate link WPWithTom.com slash GreenGeeks and on that link we can go to WordPress Hosting to get started with installing it and here we're going to be brought to three different plans the Ecosite Lite, Ecosite Pro, and Ecosite Premium. The biggest difference between these plans that you have to know is the domain names hosted. You only can host one with this Ecosite Lite, and then you can host unlimited with these pro and premium plans. Now, to get this pricing, you have to sign up for a longer term plan. I believe it would be three years to get that pricing. So let's just say we wanted to get started here. We can click Get Started. And here we would find a domain name. I already put one in before. It's just a random one. I'm going to check the availability on it. And it says, congratulations, this domain name is available. Now here you would want to fill out your information for your account. And here you get down to your plan. It says three years is $2.95. And you can see if it's one year, it's $4.95 a month. Two years is $3.95. And three years, it's $2.95 a month. So it pays to have a longer plan. They also give you the highest value coupon added automatically when you go to the site. And I would recommend leaving this checked for this who is. If not, your information can be public that you sign up with. If you want to take that risk and maybe get a couple spam emails or phone calls and you don't really care about that, you can uncheck this and save $9.95 a year and bring that price down from $116 to $106.20 for this three-year period here. So after you do that, you'd fill out this information down here and you would create your account. So I'm going to go to the next page here where you'll actually get an email that will give you all this information after you create an account and pay. And then from there, you can log into the back end of your Green Geeks account and start setting up WordPress. So let's dive into that. All right, so once you've gotten that email, you can go to where it says customer login or there will be a link in the actual email itself. And here you can input your email address and password. And now we're logged into the back end area of the site for Green Geeks. After we log in through there, we'll see this cPanel login option. And that's where we're going to click right now. And it will bring us to the cPanel or the control panel of our site. Now, if you sign up with a domain name through Green Geeks, you don't have to do anything different. But if you sign up through a different site with a domain name, let's say you've got the domain name at GoDaddy, you would need to change the name servers and point them to the ones in the Green Geeks email and go to add on domains and then add your domain there. If you purchase it through Green Geeks, like I was just showing originally in this video, we can skip that step and go right on to the next one where we're gonna scroll down here and find where it says Softaculous Apps Installer and then we'll click WordPress. And here we can click where it says Install Now. In this page, we're going to be brought to where our site is. So we have the protocol. I'm gonna leave that as is for right now. We're gonna change that to be HTTPS in the next video in this series and make it more secure. For now, I'm gonna leave it as is. And I'm going to leave my domain name as is for this site. It's WPFundamentals.com. Here's our site settings. We can change that later once we're within the dashboard in the settings section. So we don't have to go through that. And if you need help with doing that, I have a whole series on the WordPress dashboard that I'm going to link to on a card in the upper right of the screen. And then down here, we're going to choose our admin username and password. So you're going to want to change this. I'm just going to make this one. WP fundamentals in my case and here I will hide my password and create a password here and I want it to be a strong secure password here for this admin email you want to make it an email that you can actually receive so if you cannot log in your account you're going to be able to retrieve it to this email so you want this to be a good email so I'm just going to put in my Gmail account here and then I'll scroll down now these are some good plugins. If you want to add any of them, you can. I'm just gonna skip through that right now and go to where it says install to get our WordPress install started. Now this is just gonna take a few seconds here and we're done. 
Now right here it gives us our login page to our website here and we're going to have to use that each time. So it's going to be your domain name dot com dot net dot org whatever you selected slash wp hyphen admin conversely you can actually get to that by going slash login so either one should work if you want to you can save this link somewhere or jot it down save it in a document email it to yourself something like that if you need to remember this it's wp hyphen admin and if we open this in a new tab it's going to take us right into our site now let's say you wanted to change the password you can go in here in the upper right edit my profile scroll down generate password and change it right here and update your profile I'm not going to do that in this case but if you want to that's where you would be able to do that now that's just how we get WordPress set up with Green Geeks now if you have your domain hosted elsewhere it may take a few minutes to actually set that up and propagate to this hosting name server so that could take hours it could take minutes so if you've done it all through green geeks it's going to be a faster start to get your website up and running so i hope this video was helpful in the next video in this series i'm going to cover how to add ssl or site secure lock to your domain name i hope to see you in the next video